So what's up with the Urban Express? I'll lean in a little closer. That doesn't look stock. Got the VM18 hooked up to the Urban Express with special funny shaped oval air filter that I like. Just managed to get the stock throttle cable to quote work unquote. Probably need to switch that out. Let's go for a side view, shall we? Oh yeah, looking good. Ugh. So side view. Um, forgive my shaky camera work. But what was I just thinking? Oh yes, you can't really see it a little bit there, but had to buy the MLM special VM18 intake to replace the stock intake. We have access to the throttle stop screw and the idle air screw. Oh yeah. And we'll swing around to the other side. The back view of the VM18. Looking good. And of course this has the MLM pipe. Uh, people side bleed. Not the monstrous H95 pipe. At least not yet. Underneath that cover we have the Excuse me. Uh, what is it? The BX31 belt. And I got about 30 ounces of weight in the variator. And then back here I have the GY6 scooter clutch. Um, the Molossi Red 1500 springs. And that yellow torsion spring as well. Uh, got the stock 50cc cylinder, but that would be the next thing to upgrade, I believe. Well, I got a spare variator, and I'm going to try to notch the variator. I think that's my ooh, nice cool breeze. That's my next project, and then i have some special honing to or uh, not honing tools but um, porting tools and I was going to open up the exhaust port on this uh, for step one um, I think I have the 25 idle jet and the 70 main jet and I think I'm pretty close but let's take it out for a ride and see if it's still four stroking it was four stroking with the 75 jet. So we're down to a 70, which was pretty, well, which was what the carb came with. I think it came with a 30 idle and a 70 main, and I got a 25 idle and a 70 main. So, hey, you, I know I've all got all these people whispering Urban Express. Urban Express. No more of these Yamaha QT50 Townie video crap. We want to see the monster. And really, this is the bike to get. I don't know why I mess with the QT50s and the Townies and the Honda Express. Urban Express is the way to go. Because there are so many things you can change. Well, you've got the uh, CVT transmission, number one, uh, which the Express, the QT50, and the Townie don't have. And there's a lot of speed from there to there. You know, I can notch the variator, I can lower the weights a little more, and then I can go back there and replace the final drive gear. There's a lot of potential left in this bike. I mean, people have these things going outrageously fast. So, 
course, uh, and you've got the um, 16 inch front, and you can switch the back tire to 16 inch too. But I'm I'm rambling now. Let's go for a ride. Will she start? Gotten the choke operation. I think it's like that. That's a good sound. Okay, that must be the choke. recording. I forget what's what here. That must be the choke. Alright, we better ride before we run out of battery on the camera. So let's go for a little ride on the Honda Urban Express. Um, I wanted to talk about uh, the upgrades I've made to this. And on this particular bike, I did not start out with a new top end kit. I went the uh, exhaust, the new exhaust route. And uh, even with the new uh, MLM people side bleed pipe, and the original carburetor, I um, had to down jet to, I think an 82 jet, uh, because the uh, Honda Express runs uh, pretty rich stock. And I think Honda just did that, so better better to be safe than sorry especially if you buy one you know if you bought one new back in 82 or 83 uh, you didn't want to bring it back to the dealer having scored up the cylinder and the piston uh, because it was running too lean but the, I think I would recommend that sort of an upgrade path uh, maybe with a new exhaust first and then on this one I upgraded the carburetor to a VM18 But if you start with an exhaust, then you can kind of uh, deal with jetting the carburetor and getting to learn how to do that and adjusting the carburetor. 
and then from there you can go to a bigger carburetor and then from there you can maybe go with the uh, top end kit. Now if you've got a stock Urban Express, remember you know they come standard with an 85 main jet and even with the uh, MLM exhaust pipe I had to actually go down to an 82 uh, to get it to run right and stop four stroking. So if you've just got a stock bike with the stock exhaust and the stock air box, um, you could probably go down to uh, somewhere between a 75 and an 80 jet uh, you know, pretty safely but you're going to have to uh, determine that. And if your bike is running slow, it's probably four-stroking, and it's because of that too-rich uh, main jet. Um, another thing, you know, if you can't get your bike to the stock 25 miles an hour or so, uh, in addition to the uh, main jet, uh, you can look at uh, just running pre-mix pre uh, fuel and two-stroke oil rather than running the oil injector and that can be done just by draining out all the oil in the oil tank through the uh, oil line that leads to the uh, oil pump I believe or you can just you know, siphon it out with one of those mighty vacs or something like that and then um, I just uh, filled the uh, tank, gas tank, pre-mix. Now you can do other things. You can loop the line uh, you know, from the uh, oil injector pump from its inlet to its outlet. And so it's just whatever little oil is still in there, just you know, constantly pumping it, uh, recirculating it through the pump. But that's another reason why uh, you're limited on your top speed. You, know, you can't get uh, 25 miles an hour. Um, the oil injector just pumps too much oil into the uh, carburetor, especially at full speed. And then after that, uh, you can try the bigger BX31 belt. Uh, you're going to lose some takeoff speed but uh, you'll gain some top speed. And as you'll notice on mine, I get taken off the line by the scooter here. I uh, don't have a lot of uh, takeoff speed. I need to adjust the weight even lower in my variator from 30 ounces probably to 24 is what I've generally seen recommended there. And like I said earlier, I was going to notch the variator too, which would help with top speed. But eventually, why it's shooting up like that, I'm having some audio difficulties here. Uh, eventually, I want to go with a, uh, a new top end. But what I'll probably do, just for fun and for the sake of experimentation, is I'll uh, open up the exhaust port a little with my uh, porting tools and see how that of course, uh, putting the, uh, a new carburetor like the VM18 on, um, I've got to run pre-mix, I think, uh, because yeah, that carburetor doesn't have an oil injector port or inlet. And um, I was thinking something else about the VM18. I still have it jetted probably just a tad rich because uh, a couple points in here was four-stroke. And so I'm going to go down from the 70 main jet to a 67 and a half main jet and see how that does. Because I do have a 65. I don't have the 67 and a half yet, but uh, uh, it's still running a little bit rich. And of course, if I were to go with a new top end kit, I would uh, have to up jet. Uh, maybe go to like a 75 main jet or something like that. And that's for this VM18. The stock carb, uh, you're going to be running. You know, I don't know how the jets correspond, uh, but for a 
stock carb, you're going to be running a bigger main jet. If you were to you know, keep it with the exhaust and the top end kit. But like I said, I think I went down to an 82 and it was running pretty nice. I don't know if I've got a video of that. I think I do. I think I had, had, uh, yeah, I had the MLM pipe on it. And I think I had the 82 jet in one of my previous Urban Express videos. So anyhow, if you've got a stock bike and you can't get it up to the 25 miles an hour or so, uh, you, now someone was saying they had one with uh, a main jet that couldn't be removed. I haven't come across that. Mine unscrews. So uh, not sure what's up with that, but you know maybe they made some with a pressed in main jet. Uh, if that's the case, you may just want to get a new carburetor, uh, although I hear it's bogging pretty good at takeoff. Um, you probably need to go to a lower main jet, an 80 or an 80, well hell, a stock exhaust. I would go with an 80, maybe a 77 and a half, I, I forget what uh, size is kind however you pronounce it, key in, the jets come in, I think maybe you can get them in every two and a half increments on treatland.tv for one, so, uh, smaller injection, uh, smaller injection, smaller main jet, and temporarily try it with just pre-mix in the gas tank instead of running the oil in Injector. Uh, we've got the uh, solar eclipse happening here shortly, so I'm going to tune out in a minute, but uh, I wanted to get this part because uh, basically with the, the stock top end, 50cc top end, the MLM pipe and this carburetor and the BX31 uh, belt, I got up to 38, 39 miles an hour ahead here, kind of in the slipstream a little bit of this car, or maybe the, uh, I wasn't fighting as much wind, but uh, anyhow, so to those of you uh, requesting the Urban Express videos, I took a break from the Townie project, and took a break from uh, Yamaha that I'm working on get this thing out and run it. Yeah, right here, I'm cruising about 38, 39, and I, I think I had to let up from full throttle because it was four-stroke. It's kind of, uh, with this exhaust, it's kind of hard to hear. So, I can definitely go with a lower main jet, and then Bogging at takeoff is probably more a function of the belt than the carburetor. So anyhow, um, enjoy. Uh, I've included a little more riding time so you can hear it in its true glory. And until next time, ride safe.